Uh, let's talk about Nikki Haley. Oh, no. So this last... She did so well in Iowa, so it's important to talk about her. <laughs> yeah. It's so hilarious to me watching these Republicans... Like Rick uh, uh, DeSantis, Ron DeSantis. I saw got Rick, Rick on the brain. Rick on the brain. <laughs> uh, Ron DeSantis acting like, you know, I'm still in it. I'm still, there's still a pathway to victory. <laughs> they're such, they're just delusional. But Nikki Haley got into it because a, a voter asked her about slavery in this country. I think we talked about it on the show, certainly on YouTube. Yep. And now the, the question has kind of morphed and it's just generally about the racism in America to which... Uh, last week, she said that America, the United States of America, with all the baggage we have, has not, not that it's not a racist country, that it has never been a racist country. And th this question has has uh, trailed her, it's followed her for, for the better part of a week, and she is just not good. Even now, when Jake Tapper asks her, and he's one of the last to do so about it, she still hasn't formulated a convincing answer to the question. I mean, think about what you're saying. First of all, I will tell you, when you look at, you know, the Declaration of Independence, it was that, you know, men are created equal with unalienable un un rights, right? That was what we all knew. But what I look at it as is I was a brown girl that grew up in a small rural town. We had plenty of racism that we had to deal with. Wait, what? But my parents never said we lived in a racist country. And I'm so thankful they didn't. Because for every brown and black child out there, if you tell them they live or were born in a racist country, you're immediately telling them they don't have a chance. And my parents would always say, you may have challenges. And yes, there will be people who are racist. But that doesn't define what you can do in this country. And so I think it's important that we tell all kids that, look, America is not perfect. We have our stains. We know that. But our goal should always be to make today better than yesterday. It's hugely important. And that's the problem I have is we have too many people with this national self-loathing. It is killing our country. We have got to go back to loving America. We are blessed because that little brown girl in that small rural town in South Carolina, she grew up to become the first female minority governor in history. She then went on to be UN ambassador, and now she's running for president of the United States. I want every brown and black child to see that and say, no, I don't live in a country that was formed on racism. I live in a country where they wanted all people to be equal and to make sure that they had life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Okay, but just to... Just to push back a bit, because I was a history major in New Hampshire. Um, you're talking about the ideals of America, but America was founded institutionally on many racist precepts, including slavery. But when you look, it said all men are created equal. I think the intent, the intent was to do the right thing. Now, did they have to go fix it along the way? Yes, but I don't think the intent was ever that we were going to be a racist country. The intent was everybody was going to be created equally. And as we went through time, they fixed the things that were not all men are created equal. They made sure women became equal too. All of these things happen over time. But I refuse to believe that the premise of when they formed our country was based on the fact that it was a racist country to start with. I refuse to believe that. I have to know in my heart and in everybody's heart that we live in the best country in the world and we are a work in progress and we've got a long way to go to fix all of our little kinks. But I truly believe our founding fathers had the best of intentions when they started and we fixed it along the way and we should always look at it that way. There's so many things here that are I've a written problem. so many notes. Um, from the intent, her her constant focus on how their intent was good, like that matters. Um, so let me just go back to the beginning when she answers this question. She said that my parents told me that this country wasn't racist. 
This is the weirdest thing about politicians when they're running for office is they always hearken back to their childhood and they talk about like what what their parents taught them as though everything their parents taught them was correct. Like my parents told me the Holocaust didn't happen right? (laughs) and that Adolf Hitler was a person to admire. Should I continue believing that and respecting that because my parents told me that no like it's okay that your parents told you something and then what happens is you like wrestle with what your parents taught you and you try to figure out what your parents were right and wrong about because and this this might come as a surprise to some people your parents are not right about everything they're just people also she's advocating for we just lie to the kids yeah, like, okay. <laughs> I mean, ultimately, that, that's not even what she's shying away from. It's like, well, what are the little kids going to think if you tell them the truth about America? Right, and that's that's the point, really. They should be told the truth. They should know that this is not the greatest country on earth. They should know what the blemishes are. They should know those things because grappling with the truth is how you make those improvements. Yes. And if you act like, you know... The, the case in Mississippi with the hundreds of bodies that are buried in unmarked graves where the par- the families haven't been notified that we just talked about. I mean, all of these continued in, um, instances of the legacy of racism in this country, you can't honestly grapple with those things if you're not being honest. And even Donald Trump, Donald Trump is calling her Nimrata, which is her name, I, I guess. She uses the name Nikki, but he's calling her Nimrata to be racist and right. draw attention to the fact that that's her name. She's not white. She's not, uh, yeah. And and so <laughs> I wonder why Donald Trump's doing that. I wonder why he's being racist. I wonder why he continues to dominate all of these Republicans and be the number one choice when he's actively, openly racist. Also, it, it very much troubles me how consciously she minimizes slavery and racism by by referring to them as little kinks. Right, right. These little kinks along the way. Oh my God. Slavery and the systemic torture, rape, and murder of blacks in this country isn't a little kink, Nikki Haley. In any way, is it a little kink? But Jesse, to take a take a page from your book, I don't think you've considered that <laughs> they had good intent. Oh, Their intentions were good. That's right. When 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 uh, the the un in in un in in un un in 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 inalienable un in, you know what? Is that it? Is that I, how? I'm not going to attack her for that because <laughs> I did that several times just today. <laughs> yeah, but when it says that that we hold these truths to be self evident that. All men are created, are endowed by their creator, uh, created equal and endowed by their creator with uh, certain inalienable rights. Uh, those among them, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Very when impressive. that document was written, when that document was written, slavery was the order of the day. And then she says, well, we, we fix things along the way. 80 years later, we dealt with slavery and 200 years from our founding, we were still dealing with the del- del- deleterious effects of racism. Jim Crow, where black and white people couldn't occupy this, or black people couldn't occupy the same spaces as white people, whether that be a bathroom or a lunch counter or a, 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 a fucking drinking fountain. H- how is it that 200 years after our founding, we're still dealing with these little kinks, Nikki Haley? It's just fucking gross. It is ignoring the history of our country. I love our country. But you know what I love more than our country? Our country in the future, which will be better than it is today. And if you don't have that attitude about fixing the problems, if you're ignoring what the fucking problems are, how are we going to fix those problems? If you don't identify them as problems, it is the... The, the 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 sticking your head in the sand nonsense that continues with the Republican Party to try to brainwash their 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 cult members that everything's great we're the greatest country in the world how are we the greatest country in the world we're not even the freest country in the world Nikki Haley yeah Ugh. 